It's a great day for more fun with crypto. Brent Bilger of Verizon with you. Still my words, not Verizon's. And today you will get an in-depth look at the Galois counter mode algorithm for data encryption with message authentication and the use of the same algorithm for only creating a message authentication code called the Galois counter mode message authentication code or GMAC for short. The Galois counter mode is important for many reasons, including the fact that it is one of the few modes of AES encryption that performs authenticated encryption with associated data, which means that it encrypts the data and performs a hash of the encrypted data. And in addition, it optionally performs a hash of some plain text, unencrypted data. Importantly, the new TLS 1.3 protocol, which became an internet standard in 2018, but which is still uncommon on the internet, only uses authenticated encryption with associated data, forms of encryption. As we saw in a previous video, a common method of encrypting data is to XOR the plain text with a pseudo-random string. For counter-mode algorithms, the pseudo-random string is created by encrypting the output of a counter, hence the name. Therefore, the first block will look like this. Here, the first block value is 1, AES is the encryption algorithm, and is using the symmetric key KS. The output of the encrypted counter is XORed with the block of plain text, and the output of the XOR operation is the ciphertext. This process is continued for all n blocks of plain text, with the n blocks of ciphertext being the output we are looking for. However, starting the counter at 1 does not provide enough randomness. Therefore, the counter is concatenated to an initialization vector that is a nonce, where a nonce is a number used once. For Galois counter mode, the initialization vector is usually 96 bits, and the counter is 32 bits, creating the desired 128-bit block for the AES encryption, and enabling almost 2 raised to the 32nd power of encrypted data before the counter rolls over. If all we wanted was to encrypt the data, we'd be done. However, we also need to ensure the integrity of the data, like we saw in a previous video, we feed the cipher text through an exclusive OR and then through a hashing function and then feed the result of one stage onto the next stage of the algorithm. Of course, there needs to be some initial state for the hash and that is provided by sending 128 bits of zero through the AES encryption algorithm and through the hashing function. In addition, the length in blocks is added to the hash and the initialization vector is added in two. When people talk about using the Galois counter mode, this is typically what they are talking about. However, the Galois counter mode can also be used to authenticate some data without encrypting it, and then encrypt and authenticate the rest of the data as shown here. The former, authenticated but unencrypted data is referred to as additional data, and appears in the flowchart like this. That is, the Galois counter mode simultaneously supports the authentication of unencrypted data and the encryption and authentication of the other data. And this can be used for communication algorithms that want some plain text header followed by an encrypted payload. Alternatively, it can be used for only doing the authentication of additional data. In this case, it's called a GMAC, and it looks like this. There you have it, Galois counter mode used for encryption and authentication of some data with the option of additional data that gets authenticated but not encrypted and GMAC just for the authentication of data without encryption. Back to the whole algorithm, and fun with crypto out.